Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is the Oracle Bay 444. I'm God's favorite daughter, and I'm back with another message. I appreciate each and every one of you um, for coming to my channel and just sharing your stories with me. Um, if you would like to book a reading, you can do so in the link in the description box below. But let's go ahead and get this party started, all right? So, <clears throat> um, yeah, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, all right? So let's see what we have here. What do your spirit guides want you to know? What do your angels want you to know? Holy Spirit, speak to me, speak through me. Bring in Archangel Michael and Raphael as I channel these messages. What they need to know, not what they want to know. Okay? Ooh! Okay? We have there's something better. Okay, so something better is getting ready to come to fruition for you. Maybe you've been denied something, um, whether this be a person, a place, or a thing. Um, either way, um, man's rejection is just God's protection. Whew. Okay, yeah, bottom of the deck, within a few months. Okay, so within a few months, something better is coming for you. Yes. Wow, and then right after that, big happy changes, okay? Oh, I'm gonna take all three. <sighs> You're in a very transformative time in your life right now, okay? So if it doesn't seem like things are getting better, you, you can only go so low, you know what I'm saying? Okay, once you reach rock bottom, the only way up, the only way left to go is up, okay? I love that. Let's see what what spirit has for you in these next few months. Yeah, within the next few months, expect some big happy changes, okay? Like, I'm hearing expect the unexpected. What do we have here for the collective? in cancer okay <clears throat> so you could be a cancer sun moon rising north node Excuse me. or during cancer season is when something's going something better is going to happen for you okay so something about um you can feel something better like the energy, the energy just feels different. All right. Whatever it is that's coming for you, this thing that's better, it's going to change the way you feel about your situation for sure. What else for the collective? Neptune is here, okay? Um, you may be confused why something didn't work out. It was for your good. I promise you that, okay? And remember, only the devil is a confuser. The, the devil is confusion, okay? God will not confuse you. When it comes, you're going to know it's from God. You're going to know, right? So if you're confused right now about your situation, just know it's because the devil is somewhere lurking, period. Okay, but within the next few months, you're going to feel a shift, a change within your energy, um, within the things that are coming for you. Okay. Yeah, the 11th house. So you could be an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. Something's going to set you free or you're being set free from a situation. Because if you would have, if whatever didn't go right for you would have actually went through, you would have been stuck in something that wouldn't have made you happy. It would have actually been the quite opposite, okay? I'm hearing that song by um, Maxwell, Pretty Wings. I had to set you free to see clearly. 
you are now with me. Okay, so yeah, something's about to set you free or you're being freed from something. Oh, I enjoy that so much. Let's get a message from the universe. And you definitely deserve this. When it comes, don't question it, okay? Everything you're going through now is leading you up to this moment. What does the collective need? Come on now. Wow. Wow. Okay. It says one day when you least expect it, you're going to crash into someone who is going to be so soft and gentle with your heart. And you are going to be so glad that you kept it open. You are going to be so glad that you chose to believe it deserved more. Wow. Okay. So I feel like for some of you guys, this is going to be a relationship. Maybe um, you just broke up with somebody or you've been single for a while. It's because there was something better out there for you. There was something that you never thought you would get in a relationship. And I'm also picking up that you guys are going to be friends first or this person is part of your friend group. Because it says on this card, it says your circle of friends or you're already associated with this person. So maybe the energy is going to change between you and a person. Okay, but... You don't expect it. Wow. That's actually beautiful. Wow. Okay, come come on now. Because you deserve love. Drop that down below. I deserve love. Period. Period. Yeah, look, I split the deck because you have standards, marriage. Oh, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you are going to get married, okay? Please take what resonates and leave the rest. The reason why you've been single long, so long is because you have standards, and God told you to stand on that. Don't be out here all willy-nilly with yourself, with your energy, with who you are, right? And it's going to lead to marriage. Wow. Somebody's going to be getting married within the next few months. Like, it's going to be quick. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take it. Look, lovers at the... Oh, stop playing. Yeah. I'm also hearing something's going to change for you for the good because you have standards in your situation. You're not just letting... You're not just accepting something or um, settling for less just because you want it. Like, you'd rather wait than, you know... Oh, the energy is so beautiful right now. The person that you may be um, coming into your life within the next few months. So maybe you guys may not get married in the next few months. For some of you, you will. But if you don't get married in the next few months, you're going to meet them within the next few months. Okay? So they could be a Taurus, Cancer, or Aquarius, or that could be you. Yeah, oh, it could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh. It's a masculine, a masculine air sign. Or you could be the masculine air sign who's ready for marriage and you're finally going to meet someone worth worth doing that with right <gasps> stop it oh my god so many good cards are coming out okay spirit please one at a time one at a time yeah this is going to be a sacred love connection all right this is going to be a sacred marriage maybe you're even going to get married and you're going to incorporate like um like some of your traditions in your family in this marriage or something like that like for instance um just because this is the only one i truly know um black people or african americans or africans or 
you know, people of African descent, they normally jump the broom, okay? I'm also picking up on that movie. It's called Jumping the Broom, okay? Um, you may want to go watch that or that could resonate with you. Um, it's about this girl. She kind of like sleeps around a lot and she promised God. She was like, please, if you get me out of this situation that I'm in, um, I'll never sleep with anyone again until I'm married, okay? And then she ends up literally running this guy over with her car, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny but yeah please go watch that movie if you haven't um I, yeah somebody just honked outside double honk so that's confirmation okay hopefully you don't have to run in, anyone over with your car to find this love but you god works in mysterious ways okay so i don't know but whatever this something about this marriage is going to be sacred you guys were meant to be together okay Give me one more. Yeah, you're ascending, okay? And this is why you've been single for so long, or this is why none of your relationships have been working, because you're rising to a level of marriage is not the way people have been portraying it. Like, you're the type of person you want to get married once, one and done, okay? And even if that's not you, you're still someone who doesn't play with marriage, okay? You're someone who, yeah, you don't fuck around. Like, marriage is sacred, period. I already pulled that. And I feel like that's why you've been single for a while or you're, you're not just dating to date, you're dating to marry, Okay, and I feel like within the, within the next few months, you're going to start dating someone and it's going to lead straight to marriage. And you guys are both going to be at a level where marriage is going to be the only option. Like it only makes sense. Like you guys are both where you need to be in order to make this happen. Okay. I love this. Yeah, healing energy. Oh, okay. This person is going to bring a lot of healing energy and that's how you know who they are going to be. Like when you're with them, you don't want to be nowhere else, right? They bring a type of energy that you ain't never had before. And it's not just because you've never had it before. It's because it's never been this good, the type of energy. They're going to heal your masculine energy, whether you're a man or a woman, okay? They're going to heal your masculine energy and help you ascend, okay? Or they're going to heal something, okay? Whatever it may be, baby. Heavy on Aquarius. I'm picking that up right now. Heavy Aquarius energy. What do they need to know about this? Something better coming within the next oh my god i'm getting goosebumps stop my heart started beating so fast guys i can't make this up true love twin flame i can't make this up oh my god oh my oh my god <laughs> oh my god please drop down a bunch of hearts in the comment section right now because remember how i said big happy changes i can't stop smiling my cheeks hurt. I cannot stop smiling. Like, this is so crazy. This is going to be true love, whether you've been married before or not. Oh, my God. You, oh, my God. This person is the person of your dreams. Okay, I'm hearing that song by Rod Wave. The girl of my dreams. Yeah. She is the girl of my... Oh, God. This is beautiful. Okay. Yeah, this person, okay, we have hiding out. This person could be in hermit mode right now because they're waiting for their true love, okay? Like, you guys, I'm really picking up. You guys are kind of like, like, you guys are um, mirroring each other, right? Oh. I hardly pick up on true love. Like, if you watch my channel, I hardly pick up on this. So, I know this is real. I know this is true. Yeah. So, right now, um, this person could be stuck. 
okay? And that's why they, that's why you're not with them. That's why you have to wait for the next few months because they're going through changes just like you're going through changes, okay? And I'm also hearing once you get with this person, you're stuck. There is no way out, like period. This is your person. You're not going nowhere and they're not going nowhere. Distracted is here. What about distraction? A lot of people, when this person comes in your life in the next few months, I feel like a lot of people are going to see how true y'all love is. They're going to try to distract you from being married, from being married, I mean, or distract you from ascending or distract you from loving them. When you get this person, keep this person because this person is rare. Just like how you're rare, I'm telling you, when you get this person, you better treat this person like they are everything because you're going to see, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Why all of a sudden now I get in a relationship? Now everybody's messing with me or this is happening or that's happening. Yeah, it's because you're ascending. This person is coming into your life to balance things out and, you know, this is a sacred connection, period. Yeah, look, coming together. Oh, and it's crazy because you guys are going to be friends first or something like that. I heard Lovers and Friends by Little John. Wow. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you've been waiting. It's, it's been a long time coming for real love. For some of y'all, y'all ain't even had that yet. Maybe you've loved people, but pe you haven't found somebody that loved you. This is what it's going to be. It's going to be equal give and take. Give me one one more. I don't want to mess up the energy, but somebody, something's telling me to pull one more. Okay? Oh, two came out. Yeah, connecting. Okay? So you guys have a strong connection. I, I'm here strong like Wi-Fi. Okay? So you guys' this connection is strong. You guys are literally calling each other in. Your souls are coming together. I'm telling you, we got tunnel vision. When you see this person, you're not going to see anyone else. I'm not even talking physically. I'm talking about literally. You're not going to be able to look at anyone else the way you look at this person. Yeah. It says ignoring everything else. Literally, you're going to be ignoring everything else because this is the something better you've been waiting for. This is going to be your partner in crime. Your person, your baby, your lover, your friend, your homie, your dog, okay? Oh, I love that so effing much. I do not want to mess up the energy at all, but I do want to pull one more, so I'm going to do the animal spirit deck. I'll pull three from here. Not this being your person, okay? We have cosmic egg here. Ooh, y'all gonna get pregnant. When I heard egg, pregnant, fertility, okay? I'm hearing this relationship may even move fast. Okay, when you know, you know, all right? Okay. The cosmic egg. It says completion, harmony, the infinite within the finite, okay? The cosmic egg is the final card in the journey of the animal spirit deck. So I feel like you dated everyone else. This is going to be your final person. Like I said, this is it. That's all, okay? Um, it represents the unfolding of cosmic consciousness, right? They're going to help you ascend, right, to the consciousness, the state emerges after we have tread the path for quite some time and through self-effort and grace, we experience self-realization. So that's for sure your twin flame, for sure. Um, and I don't like throwing that word around, okay? Because people are too loose with it. Everybody, I don't, I don't know if everybody has a twin flame, but everybody ain't your twin flame. I know that for sure, okay? A sense of contentment and oneness spontaneously arises within us and the veils of our self-limiting beliefs are lifted when the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated we may feel as if we will never get there or that we travel alone disconnected from others even if our encounter with this card is brief 
appearing as a momentary glimmer or a flash of interconnectedness, its potent energy stays with us. Okay, the cosmic egg is a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life. It's through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning. We hold on to life and life holds on to us. The journey is complete, but it does not end. So I feel like you're done dating once you meet this person. The cosmic egg represents completion. You're at the final stages. You finally found true love, okay? Let's pull one more. Like something about this person, you're going to do everything right with this person because it feels right. Like, you know how normally you're supposed to get married first. So this person could be celibate before you guys um, get married or you could be celibate or whatever the case may be. And then you'll end up getting married. Then you'll end up having a baby then the, or get the house, then the baby, then the, like everything's going to plan out correctly. Okay, because something about this relationship is real, it's true, it's correct, it's right, right? We have a hawk here. I heard track hawk, okay? You know those Jeep cars, the track hawks, okay? I don't know why I heard that. Let's see what we have here. So this person, heavy on air sign, because that's what a hawk represents, an air sign. Okay, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. One more. It's got to be at the end. Yes. So a hawk is watchful, all-seeing, messenger of divinity. The sharp eyes of the hawk watch our every move. This keen-eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture. When this card appears, fate has its eyes on you and the winds are shifting. Big happy changes. The winds are shifting. The energy is changing. You're literally, your twin flame is about to roll into your life, okay? It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. The message should not be taken lightly. Don't take your soulmate lightly. Do not take this twin flame lightly. This is something you ain't never had before. You got to treat it like someone that you've never treated before, period. Okay? The message should not be taken lightly. Though it may seem small or insignificant, it will eventually redirect your course. When in balance, the hawk sees clearly very intuitive okay when out of balance it sees too much and it's suspicious so if you see this person and you're like who sent you that type of energy like what are you doing here like you want me for real like you're suspicious that means that that's not your person because when your person comes you're going to see clearly your intuition is going to be screaming at you like hey this is your person get your person right to bring yourself into balance, change your perspective, period. Okay, see things from a higher perspective. But that's all I have for you guys. I'm super excited. I heard Amy, okay, Leon, Victor, Yasmin, Tatiana, Taylor. Oh, Sammy. Okay. Wow. I'm I'm so happy for you guys. It's so crazy. Um I rarely pick up on love readings. This was so beautiful. Somebody is getting married. Period. In the next few months, or you're gonna meet somebody in the next few months. And you you're not gonna can't take my eyes off of you. You're like heaven to touch. I wanna hold you so much. Oh, period. I love it for you guys. Okay, I'll see you guys on the next video. If it resonates, let me know. Okay, bye guys.